So we talk about recognition, but you take it a step further with purposeful recognition, and you say it's a must-have leadership skill that drives results. So talk to me about the relationship between recognition and business results, because it can sometimes feel like they're not in the same world. Yeah, I, I think recognition is the soft stuff that drives the hard results. All right. And here's the way how you do it, George. You know, it's, and it's what I call purposeful recognition. Now, I'm sure it's your company. There's four or five things that you know that if you do well, you're going to get great results. You know, you want to collaborate. You want to be innovative. You want to be creative. You want to be proactive in getting great guests. You know, I don't know what those four or five things are. But you, you lay them out, and those are the behaviors that you want to recognize. Those are the cultural behaviors that you want to recognize because they'll get results. And then you start looking for people that are collaborating and being proactive and doing the things that you know you're, will really get the results. And then you recognize them. And then people will do more of the behaviors that you know uh, will get results. You know, I've had engineers say to me, you know, that's just not what we do in, in, in our field. And I said, well, what are, the, what are the things that drive performance as an engineer? Well, we've got to be innovative. We've got to be on budget. We've got to, you know, we've, we've, we've got to be proactive with our clients, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, well, why don't you start recognizing people when you see those things happen? And you know what? They start doing it, and then all of a sudden, I get this call from the guy, and he says, you know, we did this, and it, you cannot believe the attitude of our company now that we started really recognizing the performance. And by the way, we're getting better results now. And, and that's, they're, they're, they're inextricably linked. You know, I don't think you recognize people in a willy-nilly way. I think you do it you know, in, in a purposeful way. It's got to be earned, and then it's got to be the behaviors that you know will ultimately drive performance. When you do that, you turn recognition into a powerful weapon for you. Mm. There's a lot of ways to do recognition. Uh, sometimes it's you know celebrating in a team meeting. Sometimes it's in private. Sometimes it's with you know a five hundred dollar handshake. What have you seen to to be the most effective ways to kind of build that culture of recognition? Well, I think the most important thing you can do is be on the lookout for it and have everybody in your company on the lookout for it, and and then make it spontaneous. You know, I'm a big believer in annual celebrations and monthly meetings and all those kinds of things, but. You know, everybody does that. What really turns a culture on fire is when you do it spontaneously. You know, when you see somebody who helped you, George, maybe put this podcast together or or give you three questions that maybe you ought to ask or whatever, you recognize that person for it. They're going to they're going to they're going to feel valued and they're going to want to help you even more in the future. But don't wait until the annual meeting to make it happen. I think the monthly meetings, annual meetings kind of give people an excuse to say, oh, yeah, we do it. But not really. Okay, when you do it is when you do it every day and you make it spontaneous. And I don't think you can do too much of it. People would say, can you recognize too many people? Well, maybe I might have recognized some people in the past that maybe might not have deserved it. But I'd, I'd rather err on the fact that I'm out there looking for people doing great things and recognize as many people as often as I can, as long as I think it's earned. Yeah, that's a great call out. There's people who would never get recognized because their role might not be in the spotlight as much. You know, I think of our, our customer care folks who are on the phones, they're emailing with our, you know, interfacing with our fans every single day and the amazing work they do, but they're not out in front of the camera, you know, like me getting the the, the claps and the accolades and wow, what an amazing job because no one's really seeing it. So how do you intentionally look for uh, opportunities to recognize? Well, I'll give you a good example. When I was uh, the CEO of Young Brands, I'd go it out, always go out in our restaurants. And I started doing this when I was actually the president of KFC. And, you know, we had KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. And, uh, you know, for example, I, my recognition award was a floppy chicken. It was a rubber chicken, okay? A simple rubber chicken. And I would go into a restaurant, and I would look around, and, you know, if the food was really good, I'd say, who's the chef here? And I would go back to the house and I would say, you know, I want to recognize you because the food here is absolutely fantastic. So I'd pull out my floppy chicken and I would number it, you know, because that now this person might be floppy chicken number 27, okay? And I'd write on it, right in front of them, I'd say, you are what makes this business tick. Quality is important in everything that we do. Thanks. How long you been here? 
Oh, I've been here for 15 years. Well, thanks for 15 years of dedicated focus because you're the, you're the guy who really makes it happen for our customers. I'd give them the floppy chicken, and then I'd take a picture. And I'd say, I'm going to send you a copy of this picture. You can throw it in the trash if you want, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put your picture in my office because you're the person that's really making things happen. And, you know, I did that, uh, you know, throughout my career. And I, my office is lined with people that I recognize from floor to ceiling. And people say, well, what happens when you run out of wall space? And I said, we're putting them on the ceiling. And that's exactly what we did. And, you know, people walk into my office and they smile and they know that people is what really makes things happen. But, you know, you, you, you look for the people that, that are, are, are getting things done. And I love doing it with the front line. And I can't tell you how many times when I gave away a floppy chicken or a yum award or whatever, this, people would actually cry. Mm. You know, that now they're crying for the right reasons, okay, because wow. they're joyful. You know, it's and and you know, I I think it's amazing. I actually had one person who was a very, you know, uh, great guy who died of cancer, and and in his can in in his casket, he wanted his floppy chicken. Wow, that's I mean, powerful. I mean, it is powerful. You know, and people said, well, it wouldn't work everywhere, so I did it in China, and you know, I gave a a. Uh, 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 a yum award to this uh, yingling who was in Beijing. And Shirley Kunimono, who ran operations for us, went over there and said, hey, I understand David Novak gave you a yum award. And she said, yes, he did. Can I see it? And Shirley goes, can I see it? And she said, no. It's at home, locked in my father's safe. This stuff is powerful stuff. you know. And that's why I think it, recognition is a real privilege of leadership. It's, 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 you know, when you're the, when you are the head coach or you're the coach or you're the leader of the team and, you know, when you take the time to acknowledge somebody's efforts, okay, that says that someone's watching, that someone cares about what you do. And, and George, you've done all kinds of podcasts with all kinds of leaders, but every really successful company creates a work environment, creates a culture where everyone knows they count. 